this last session was a disaster. Hello guys, I'm here with my amazing Grip G1 and I'm talking about a special Grip G1 because for this race weekend they made a custom livery for me. This is my number. I really can't wait to jump on this car tomorrow and race with it. And you're probably wondering why I'm recording the intro of this video now on Friday evening. And the reason is simple, because tomorrow morning I won't have time to record the intro because this weekend I'm gonna be racing with both Formula Predators and Grid G1. So <laughs> on Saturday I'm gonna have six sessions and one race. And on Sunday, one session and three races <laughs> with two different cars. It's gonna be crazy. So tomorrow morning, first session, 10 past eight with the Formula Predators. Immediately after I finish, I jump up the car, I run here, I get on the car and I start the first session with the Grip G1. And not only it's gonna be a crazy weekend, but they also expect a lot of rain. So it's gonna be crazy. Ok, devo andare sulla grip. Ok, this is a little bit faster than Predator. They should ban dry races. I mean, every race should be on wet. It's it's so cool to drive under the rain. I, I, I love it. I mean, it's it's awesome. It's awesome, really. I can describe this experience on Grip G1 on wet. One of the most undrivable things in my whole life. I mean, I, I was not the, the most undrivable uh, because the most undrivable was last year with Formula Predators here with the dry tires on wet. You know, I mean, it, it, it's so much fun. I'm, I'm loving it. And when I say drivable, it's just because this is a small track. It has no grip. Varano has no grip on wet. I remember because I raced with motorbikes here and I remember it, no grip. And you know, you, you can't really use all the power that you have because you have no traction. But by the way, it, it's awesome. I, I, I'm having so much fun to drive in the rain that you can't imagine, really, you can't imagine. By the way, this first session I was struggling a lot with traction. I have no traction and I'm struggling a lot with cornering. I keep losing the rear in mid-corner, so I, I cannot bring enough speed inside the turn. If I'm able to bring more speed, it would be better, because I would not need to accelerate more to regain speed. That's it, basically. By the way, how cool is the new livery? It's amazing. So we, I spoke to the engineer to try to fix the undrivability of the car, and he suggested to soften all the suspension. So we softened them all. We also softened the front anti-roll bar and we also we removed the rear anti-roll bar and we reduced the rear camber. So now the tire is more straight. This is because I didn't have traction and I didn't have grip in the corner. So reducing camber, you make a bigger part of the tire touch the ground. So we expect to have more grip and more traction. And you also, in wet conditions, the G-forces are very low, so you, you don't take advantage of high camber. So less camber would be better. 
here, hopefully. Now they're finishing the job on the car and I'm going back for the second session. I don't know whether I should be angry or happy because I, I was doing the best lap overall and in that lap I spun and I went to, gra to the gravel so I lost six minutes waiting for them to push me back on the track five minutes here in the pit lane to clean the car and the session was over but I was doing the best lap what a shame by the way I'm happy because I was going fast and it means that I have the pace to stay in the first three positions so in the next session, I, I just need to, to find the limit, to understand where it is, to understand what to do or what not to do, and try to do again the best lap. By the way, the car was much better, more drivable, more grip, and they did a good job. I don't know how did I go from doing almost the best lap to going four seconds slower than the first one. This last session was a disaster, really. I, I don't know why, but I was fighting with the car in every corner, either under steering or over steering. I, I could not drive it. I didn't understand what I was doing wrong. I tried every kind of line every kind of driving. I tried everything, and the more I tried, the slower I went. I, really, it was a disaster. I took a look, Luca Filippi's on board, and you know, Luca Filippi is a very pro driver, and it, it's really a great example to compare with. And, and I saw that, first of all, he had a totally different setup. He was softer than me, he has a totally different toe than my car, but the most important thing was that he just accelerated later than me. I was too quick on going to the throttle and that led the car to start over steering and never exit the corner. And from the telemetry, I, I saw that. He brings more speed inside the corner. He waits a lot before pushing the throttle. And this, together with the setup, allows him to have more traction and more precision. I don't know, I, I, really, I understand that I cannot pretend to be fast considering that I just started racing and this was my second time on wet but three seconds are too many, really too many. Tomorrow we will copy his setup on my car. I will try to accelerate later and I see if I can improve.
come si va di là senza bagnarsi? Eh, devi attraversare lo Stige da quel ponte lì <ride> e poi dopo c'è la laguna di Venezia da quella parte. Dio buono. Dai, facciamo. Vai. E com'erano queste condizioni? È il limite, è il limite. No, è oltre il limite. Oltre il limite, ci sa limite. anche il fiume dentro la tenda, quindi. <ride> Sai, hai mai corso in queste condizioni? Corso? No. Corso no. <ride> però ho girato, magari sì. Però dico, non riuscire a fare i dritti in pieno, non, non so se mi fosse capitato tante volte. <ride> allora non sono l'unico <ride> che non riusciva ad andare dritti. <ride> Oggi ne ha più, più forte che riusciva ad andare forte sul drink. Sì, sì. Esatto. Curva, vabbè. Com'è no, stato? Terribile, <ride> un'esperienza <ride> terrificante. Alla fine scendi che sei contento, però in pista è. La tosta. Eh sì, la situazione è veramente al limite. È bella tosta, oggi è veramente un casino. Però questo abbiamo, quindi andiamo così. That's crazy. I, I think the race is going to be a survival race. My, my strategy will be to go slow and wait for everyone else to spin. Because everybody's going to spin at least once. So there is no other options. I'm laughing, but I should be crying. Because this was the worst result ever in my whole career. Not even the first time I drove a race car, I was six seconds slower than the first one. I can't believe it. Six freaking seconds seconds and what makes me sad is that in the first two sessions i was going to make the best lap i was fast and then and then no idea probably the other drivers understood how to interpret these conditions while i didn't but the real problem is that these conditions were totally abnormal these cars comparing to the predators are much more rigid and in this slow track you cannot take advantage of the downforce but you have to rely only on mechanical grip and here today the grip was zero moreover the track was completely flooded and during the whole qualifying lap it was impossible to accelerate 100 percent even on the straight and you know if you just could accelerate 100 percent for 100 meters you would gain one second and probably the other drivers understood where it was possible to accelerate and that's six seconds per lap while at the third time i risked to crash the car due to aqua planning i probably slowed down and said okay let's bring the car home by the way i still do not understand why with formula predators i was flying while with grip i was slow like hell with formula predators i was four seconds faster than grip g1 while on dry conditions grip are 10 seconds faster this is crazy and this result shows that i still have a lot to learn and i will take this bad day as experience now in three hours i will have race one and the weather is awful rain is increasing and the track is becoming undrivable i truly don't know how it will be possible to race like that <laughs>